as the body rotates out on the buckle side, now I'll rotate the camera, the head of the camera, to allow the light source to come into contact with that undercut. So we have our scan. We've scanned the quadrant area over uh, the lower right quadrant. We have most of the teeth, most of the information that we want. Again, for a quadrant scan, usually I like to scan from as far mesially as the canine. So in this case, we're working the lower right. We scan to number 27. And then we scan all the way back to the last tooth, which is also the distal tooth to our restorative area, number 31. We have all of that information and we could send this off. The system doesn't tell you not to send it off or it's missing critical data. It doesn't know. So it's important that you analyze your impression, your digital model to see if you have the information that's required for the restorative situation. So in this case, the only thing that's missing is the contact surfaces, surface of the mesial side of 31. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna still use my mirror or some retraction aid on the cheek. You also want to ensure that just like with your regular scan or your initial scan, that the teeth are very dry the preparation is dry, and the area that's critical, the area that you're trying to capture, is also dry. And you can do this during that initial scan sequence. Can you use a mirror to retract the tongue, please? All right, so I have the help of Ileana, who's gonna keep the tongue retracted. And now it's all about positioning. So during the initial rotation to the lingual, on that live view on the lower left-hand corner, rotation to lingual and rotation to the buckle, you can see it's really hard to visualize that undercut, that mesial surface of 31. So what we have to try to do is change the angulation. So with the camera activated, so I'll activate the system and let's first get the system to recognize where we are. I see the rest of the digital model return and generate. Now I'm gonna rotate the camera, the body of the camera out from the buckle as the body rotates out on the buckle side, now I'll rotate the camera, the head of the camera, to allow the light source to come into contact with that undercut. Now, as you rotate, you, you may notice the area is not getting captured. So you may have to play around with the distance. So you may have to go closer or even further away. So now if we evaluate the contact that we were attempting to capture, Again, that mesial surface of 31, we can see now the hole is filled in. Uh, we've entirely filled in that surface. And now when we go to digitally design our restoration, we have a solid surface that we can design to. We know precisely where the mesial of that neighboring tooth is so that we can establish the correct contact value. Now, in some cases, it could be so challenging to capture the area under the undercut on the adjacent teeth, especially that distal neighbor because of a mesially tipped tooth. We're mostly concerned with the height of contour. So the widest portion of where the design is gonna contact. So if you can accurately capture the upper half of the neighboring teeth, that's usually adequate for us to establish a contact surface in the design. 